with the right systems and processes, you can achieve very good control of cervical cancer. Australia now has a very low incidence of mortality, but Victoria is approaching what will be possibly elimination targets. So I think there are opportunities for partnerships between countries like Australia and countries that are trying to establish screening for the first time and bilateral learning, I suppose. So ROSE is an acronym for removing obstacles to cervical screening. How it came about was through my meeting with Marion at a cervical cancer meeting. I still remember Marion saying that we've sorted out Australia. Now it's time for us to move to a more challenging area if we believe that we can make a change. Project ROSE is a partnership essentially between us, a non-profit, uh, to complement and to support uh, government initiatives to ensure that self-testing and HPV testing is rolled out as quickly as possible for Malaysians, whether in urban or rural settings. Optimal cervical cancer control requires every young girl who's age eligible to be vaccinated against the human papillomavirus and every woman um, aged 30 to 49 globally to have at least one HPV test. And once that is in place, the next thing to think about is making sure that those women in whom HPV is detected are adequately followed up and treated because we won't prevent cancer just by screening. Screening is a pathway that has to be followed through. I would strongly suggest girls and women, you need to go for the normal, regular pap smear test because uh, this can be prevent. Finding out that you have cancer at an early stage is always the best uh, gift you can give yourself. So I'm, I'm terribly lucky to have found out much earlier. Successful research collaboration can occur when people get on together and they have similar goals. Australia has gone through the transition from pap smears to HPV testing, they've had a long history of using screening registries. Those are all areas where we are weak in. And in terms of the HPV technology, lots of new methods are coming up. And that's where the collaboration comes in, knowledge sharing. They're just a call away and, and we can discuss problems, ideas, and it gets sorted out. Talking about genitalia in this country, is a no-no in any sense. There's, you know, anything to do with, with sex education, um, sexual interactions, it, it's not something that you can openly talk about. It's something that you talk about behind closed doors. You want to make sure that uh, it's not considered taboo. Um, it, it, you know, people will not look down or, or feel that it's not in line with their religious beliefs, uh, but it is really uh, in accordance uh, of what's right and what must be done. The pap smear has been around for decades, but women in Malaysia are loath to have it, so we need to find a different way of doing it. And having this uh, self-testing that can be done very quickly without necessarily going to a doctor's clinic is going to revolutionise things. There are a group of women who will never allow a healthcare professional to perform an invasive test such as this, occasionally even without permission from their husbands. That's rare, but it happens. And so these women, I think they would accept self-sampling much more. I mean, I'm just going to take the example of my wife, daughters. You know, they are more than comfortable to do the self-sampling uh, themselves and do it within the comfort of the privacy of their home. I believe that this is the way forward. The other innovation of ROSE is the link to a data management system where you will receive your results, be told where to go, where to get care if you need it, and a reminder later on if you need to have a repeat test. So it's all built in to ensure linkage to care and follow up. Can you imagine? The self-test kit, you have no idea how much women hate pap smears, okay? And to address that, for me, it's brilliant because usually um, no one hears our complaints. 
so <laughs> it's like, you know. I think the partnership works both ways. What they learn from us in terms of the social, cultural background, our infrastructural situations, if our colleagues can learn that, they can also help in other countries as well. We have a lot of technical expertise. Countries know what works in their setting. And in partnership, I think we can reach this um, elimination target. It so happened I did my postgraduate research degree on the subject of uh, human papilloma virus immunology. I, I never thought in my lifetime that we would be able to announce an effort, a global effort, where we can eliminate a cancer. It so happened I'm here. The psychological impact of conquering the big C is only the start, you know, I, I believe so. But if we can start getting some degree of excitement and, and movement, then, you know, nothing, nothing is off limits.